everyone, it's Anya from DV Lover. This time I would like to walk you through all the um, block specific features of my plugin, the DV Toolbox. I will show you all the ways you can customize your uh, DV blog, your um, archives, categories, uh, posts page using the options available in, in the plugin. So let's get to it. This is a demo page I will be using to show you all the available customizations. I have DV uh, as an active team and I just installed toolbox. So let me show you what is available on the plugin settings page. I'll navigate to DV, DV toolbox and in the block tab you will see we have an option to enable customizations for sidebar and widgets. We'll also enable custom post meta, archives and categories. I will choose a different uh, archives layout. Let's say this one. Let's save that. And let's see. Okay, that's a nice start. <laughs> And now let me show you how uh, can I further customize it with uh, options available in the toolbox customizer. So if I navigate to team customizer, DV toolbox and block. Let's say I want to change the font for for the title. Let's make it bolder, a bit smaller maybe. Okay, great. I can change the color. I can decide that I don't want to see the um, post content here, but let's let's leave it uh, visible, but maybe a bit smaller. I can also change the color, the size of the font, and I can customize uh, the read more button. I can obviously disable it. Let's leave it visible, but maybe um, change the padding, the font size. Let's uh, make it square. Actually, maybe that's too much padding. Let's make it smaller. Okay, and then let's change the hover background color. Purple maybe. And there are some hover um, effects also available, like this one, it's a fun one. And then as you noticed, we are adding an image overlay. We can decide if we want to show it on hover, like, like it is now, or hide it. You can change the overlay color and change the hover effect. Let's say zoom in and rotate. Okay, the next part we can edit is the this content box we can change the background padding actually the padding was fine uh, we can uh, remove the shadow or add uh, add border let's maybe <laughs> leave it white for now it looks nicer i think 
Okay, so the next, uh, the, that these are the customizations for the block list. And let me show you what can we change in the sidebar. Uh, you probably notice we uh, are removing this um, line which is there by default we can uh, put it back there or we can add uh, some uh, shadow to the sidebar and if we are not using a shadow or a border we can decrease the uh, padding inside the sidebar so it has um, more more room for, for the content as for the sidebar widgets, we can change the font of the header, the size, the uh, color, and there are two additional header style we can use. One is uh, with divider line. We can customize the line, the length, the uh, height, uh, and also the border radius to make it rounded. And the second one is uh, boxed, so we can make it look a bit uh, different. Let's say uh, we don't want any rounded corners. Mm, okay, the next part is uh, widget style. So the, the content of the widget, it also can be boxed like so. We can change the background, we can um, change the bottom margin we want more space between our widgets and uh, we can add an uh, icon on hover and change the, the colors, the hover color, the icon color, uh, so that's uh, also useful I think. We can also customize the search widget, by default it doesn't look very very great and if we ena enable those customizations it will change to a search box with with an icon which we can then edit uh, as we like so let's say we want dark background with white text and purple search icon Okay, and the last part uh, is post uh, meta. Uh, we can change the the font. Let's make it bolder and maybe smaller, uppercase with some spacing between the letters, with smaller icons and different hover color. Okay, let's save that and when we exit the customizer you'll see that uh, all these changes are applied to each category page, the search results, the blog page, uh, so that's, that's great. Uh, now if we go back to uh, our blog settings we can edit, uh, change the uh, archives layout. Let's try this one. That's also pretty nice. Our um, posts list with a small image. Or maybe let's use three columns and hide the sidebar. So that that's something useful as well. Okay, uh, one more thing you can do with the archives pages is assigning custom layouts right after uh, your navigation. So you can add any uh, layout from the Divi library and display it just below the navigation here be uh, before the uh, post list. 
you can assign different layout for your arch archives, for your categories, author pages, search results, and the main blog page can have a different one too. So let me show you um, how you can use the categories uh, header layout to display category title. Uh, this one is tricky because uh, we need to, uh, we'll be using the mm, dynamic content feature from DV, but we have to uh, use it while creating the posts because mm, the fields are different. Let me show you. I will add a new post. Let me insert the text module and I won't be writing anything, but I want to use this dynamic content feature and I want to insert post category without a link. Okay. Mm. Or actually, maybe we can add h1 tag, so it's nice and big. And let's make it light, because we'll change the background color as well for the entire section. Let's try with purple. And now I will save this section to the library. And I don't need to save this, uh, this post. I will go back to DV Toolbox settings page. And now I can assign this layout as my category header. Uh, here we are on the blog page, but for each category we can display the category title. So that's uh, you can edit this section in uh, using the all the options available in the DV Builder. So that's uh, that's nice, I think. Um, okay, let's let's go back here. Let me show you how we can edit uh, the single post la uh, layout. Uh, the default post is always with a sidebar. You can change that uh, on each post settings, uh, but here we can uh, globally uh, change the, the layout for left sidebar or for the full width. We can hide the post title. That is useful if you're using the same method to display uh, post title as a custom layout, the same as we did for the categories. Uh, you can add the nice full width section at the top uh, of your posts with, with the post title. And then with this option, disable the title from the post content. So it's there only once. Let's add an outer box and next and previous links. You can use these fields to uh, to change the the name of the buttons, uh, especially if you're using the plugin on not English uh, website related posts. This will display the random posts from the from the same category, and also will enable uh, comments for customization. Let's say and we can change the name of that section to Okay, let's save those settings. Great. Now if I go to one of the sample blog posts
you'll see we have our related posts section next and pre previous links and also uh, an outer box uh, i didn't add any bio to my uh, profile but it it would be uh, visible here as well and we can also uh, further customize these elements with the theme customizer let's have a look okay if we navigate to toolbox blog we will see that there's more uh, sections here because once we enable something in the toolbox settings page then it's visible here uh, for further edits so with an after box we can make it rounded or not we can um, change the size of the um, the avatar we can change the box background color padding um, we can add border uh, customize the shadow and also the fonts for the author name and author uh, bio the description with next and previous links we have also all sorts of customizations for the uh, for the text for the button uh, button hover um, colors and effect and with related posts we can uh, choose how many we want to display we can change the header font and also customize the the each of the post with a font size background shadow padding border radius border and so on and for the uh, the comments we can by default we're making the message field half width uh, it's it won't be visible while you're logged in but you can preview the site uh, in a separate uh, browser uh, window uh, when you're where you're logged out to see how the comment uh, field is half width and the other fields are on the on the side and you can customize the the look of the the fields the the background border border radius uh, all that uh, settings and you can have different um, different focus uh, settings so let's say when uh, we we are focusing on one field I want this field to have a uh, black background which is not very likely actually let's make it <laughs> let's make it white and for border to be visible you can change the button uh, appearance like we did for for all the others okay so i think that um, is all of the block specific features of toolbox as you can see we have many more options available to customize your uh, your website so i hope that gives you a better understanding on how the toolbox plugin works and what it can do for your dv website if you'd like to get it feel free to use the coupon code from the description below if you have any questions uh, get in touch and i'll see you next time